Aladino, as well as Cuomo, to the debate where we can hash these issues out. All they've said in general terms is they want to slash and burn the state budget and, and leave the people with less services and less jobs. Now, they both say they're going to reform Albany, but I'll just talk about Paladino. Cuomo comes from a dynasty in this state, but Paladino poses as an outsider, but his record is being an insider. He's given to both parties. I wonder how the Tea Party feels about the fact that he's given big contributions to Al Gore and John Kerry and Hillary Clinton and your local Democratic Congress people, Louise Slaughter and uh, Brian Higgins, as well as Chuck Schumer, as well as a lot of Republicans. He plays the inside game like the fat cats do. They give to both sides. So no matter whose side wins, they win. I mean, our political system's like Boss Tweed used to like. He used to say you can vote for anybody you want as long as I get to pick who the candidates are. So the rich folks put money into both parties, and then no matter who wins, they win. Paladino talks about taking down the ruling class in the state, but he's part of the ruling class. And he talks about cutting government, but a lot of these properties he owns get rents from the government, $10 million a year this year. He calls for 20% cuts in spending. Is he willing to cut his rents 20%? He talks about cleaning up corruption, but he had to cop a plea on a felony charge from one of his companies for dumping asbestos. He talks about freedom, yet he calls for a repression of Muslims' religious liberties and property rights. He talks about ridding Albany of insider conflicts, but he seems to be the living embodiment of insider conflicts. And finally, he says he's for the people, but he's denigrated the majority of the people. His emails and his various statements, he's denigrated women, that's half the people. Ethnic minorities, people of color, that's one-third of the people in New York. Immigrants, that's another one-third of the people of New York. Poor people, one in six people in this state are surviving on food stamps to put food on the table. Union members, that's one-quarter of the workers in the state. I don't know how many people are left to vote for Carl Balladino. And if those people find out what he's been saying about him, he'll be lucky to come in second place. So with that, I'd be happy to take any questions.